Hey everyone, Simon here, and welcome to the Aquabatics Calgary Whitewater Kayak Skills online video series. Today we are looking at how to roll a kayak. There are many types of roll. For this tutorial, however, we are going to concentrate on the sweep roll. Just a quick note, this video is designed as an overview or as a review, and not as a step-by-step -step instructional video. Rolling is a skill that you will likely need hands-on instruction with, particularly at the beginning of your progression. Our hope is that this video will assist you in understanding the basic concepts of the sweep roll and help you troubleshoot any issues that may arise as you progress towards a reliable roll. As a whitewater paddler, one of the initial benchmarks of improvement is learning how to roll. At Aquabatics, we don't necessarily focus on this skill right off the bat, rather focusing on the easy to learn tea rescue and developing solid base paddling skills. However, once people are hooked, that is when we get them in the pool and working on the roll. It is a key skill for paddling on white water and rough ocean water. For most, it takes a number of lessons and then some self-directed trial and error to get the roll reliable. There are shortcuts you can take with certain types of rolls. Over many years of teaching though, we have found the sweep roll whilst not necessarily the easiest to learn, is the one that protects your shoulders and body the best and is also the most reliable in moving or aerated water. Just as an important preface to this lesson, the sweep roll does not use a pulling motion and surface tension on the paddle blade to help you right the kayak. In fact, it is almost the opposite. We rely on no surface tension and a knee drive and body rotation to make it work. This ensures that when we flip in highly aerated white water, where you cannot get any surface tension on the blade, you can still roll successfully. When teaching the roll, we focus on five key stages and they are as follows. The start. The pause. The sweep the knee drive, and the finish position. When teaching this roll, we start with teaching number four, the knee drive, as this is what really makes the roll work. Once students are confident and comfortable with that, we teach it, as with most skills, systematically from one through five. The start position. For this, you need to be tucked forwards, Though at the same time, you want to wrap yourself around the edge of the boat as best as your flexibility will allow. This wrapping move allows you to get your hands and in turn paddle blade as close to the surface as possible. The pause. The simplest physically but hardest mentally part of the roll. We want to allow the boat to settle and for us to get into our start position correctly. A rush roll will generally be a failed roll. The sweep. The sweep happens really at the same time as the knee drive, though we have to give it some kind of order. The sweep is where the blade arcs away from the boat from bow to stern. This happens with a pushing motion of the hand and a body rotation. It is important to note that we are shedding tension off the paddle blade at all costs. The knee drive. We want this to start almost simultaneously with the sweep. The knee drive is where we drive the knee into the thigh brace, essentially starting the rolling motion, which is completed with the sweep and continued body rotation. The finish. Here, we are ensuring we shed the resistance off the paddle blade all the way to the end. Our body is fully rotated and top hand remains close to our face and we are looking down the line of the paddle towards the blade and the water. Once all these stages come together, you're rolling. One of the most common responses we get from students when performing this roll the first few times is, you helped me on that one, right? The answer is usually no. It's because the roll feels so effortless as there is no pulling on the water, just a slicing paddle blade and body rotation riding the kayak. Some of the common problems paddlers have when trying to execute the different stages of the roll are, the start, only leaning forwards and not wrapping your body around the boat. With the wider modern kayaks, you need to get out to the side of the boat as well as forwards. 
the pause. People often rush this and don't take the time to get set up correctly. We ask people to loosen their grip on the paddle at this stage as it assists in not pulling water in the following stages. The sweep. So many things can go wrong with the sweep. The most common, however, with the sweep roll is the paddler pulling the paddle towards the bottom. The sweep needs to be an initial pushing motion, followed by body rotation. Also of equal importance is ensuring you shed the resistance and tension of the blade through the entire movement. Once surface tension occurs, the body stops rotating and the paddler falls back over. The knee drive. Often the big problem is paddlers waiting too long to begin the knee drive. If it is well rehearsed, just ensure you start it as soon as you start your sweep. The finish position. Not completing the full range of body rotation will see you back underwater here. Ensure there is no resistance on the blade all the way until you are upright and smiling. There are a lot of interlinked problem spots with the roll. Make sure you dial in each step before moving on to the next and you will have the greatest success. We love the sweep roll and choose to teach it for its understandable components and long-term safety and reliability. It doesn't, however, work for everyone. Give it a try, let us know if you have any questions, and best of luck. Thanks so much for checking out this video. We really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. For more great educational videos, please subscribe to our channel or check out our courses and more info at aquabaticscalgary.com.